slash boot is your EFI system partition. That's how to prevent a whole myriad of Linux boot screw ups. So let me just explain. On a Unix system, your boot stuff should be mounted in slash boot. And the way things are mounted is that your first partition should be slash boot, right? And in modern systems, there's this thing called UFI. That's the thing in your, in your BIOS. Your BIOS basically boots your machine and then it looks in that first partition, that first partition be call, is called the EFI system partition, VFAT formatted. It looks inside the EFI directory capitalized for a bootloader, which in, in turn bootstraps your kernel and your, and your kernel boots into your root partition. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to take. Let me just quickly go through this again. So EFI system partition, every, every new computer has this one. It makes actually dual boots is trivial, just trivial. But a lot of information online is just wrong. For example, this should be, in my opinion, just slash boot, N not uh, slash boot lowercase EFI. Okay, this is where it gets confusing, the directory name, but never mind. Um, let's go back to basics. When you when you set up your machine, assuming that there's nothing there, uh, I mean, Let's assume there's something there. If there's something there before, it's usually an EFI system and a Windows one. But you can just nuke the, the, the Windows one like I did and put Linux there. Or you can just keep resize Windows so you can have EFI system, Linux, Windows, whatever. So I have a 100 megabyte EFI system. The first confusing thing is that the code and the name, Just this is just your first partition, VFAT formatted. And the rest is your Linux. So that's, and another thing you should probably have is a GPT formatted, whatever. Another machine, very similar setup. This time the EFI system, the VFAT first partition is 500 megs instead of 100. On my Arch Linux machine, what happens is I'm using boot CTL. And on this machine, guess what I'm using on void, I'm using grub. So here I am, slash boot, mounted on the first partition as VFAT. What do we have here? We have an EFI directory capitalized, unlike what we see uh, back over here. That's wrong. And inside there, and that inside that EFI directory is just simply like the UFI standard bootloader. And that in turn, bootstraps the kernels down here, and the kernel boots into your root partition, this one. It's the same story with uh, systemd's uh, boot CTL. There's that EFI directory capitalized with the .EFI thing, and that in turn bootstraps the, um, the kernels there. There's a, there's a loader config. Similarly with grub, there's a, a grub config somewhere like yeah, whatever. Essentially, that's it. That's it. Two partitions here. The first being your EFI system partition with capitalized EFI is where it gets installed. In fact, when you install it, don't specify uh, uppercase EFI. See, what's wrong here, again, your EFI directory and your boot directory is the same. It's the same. Just keep it like that. It, it will more likely work in, in my experience. Your slash boot is your EFI directory. Keep it like that. Okay? That's that's the tip I want you to all to remember and all to know. And you should have a Linux boot. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe for more. Please like the video so more people can hear the gospel. And if you have any comments, comment below. Bye now.